Okay, um, question one. Which of the following can result in goods receipt postings in our company? Okay, see B cannot be right because it says receipt of raw material by an employee against a production order. That's a goods issue. Right? See this is goods receipt posting. That one what's happening is you know against a production order an employee is coming and taking stock from you. Okay. But is it like it is meaning like you are issuing raw materials to a production process? Yes. Whatever it is something is being taken out of the warehouse that's a goods issue. That's not a goods receipt. But at a, at a production area you can confirm where you receive the raw materials. No, it's a goods issue from your storage, from your inventory. Okay, just because th that's why I use the word receipt just to confuse issues. But this can happen to right in a production area. The production area can confirm like you receive the raw materials from your storage to start. Processing. But that's not storage. Goods issue posting occurs only for inventory management. That's not an inventory management operation. That might be an operation that says, okay, I got it. Okay, but that's not a good uh, issue, receipt posting, right? So the A is right, receipt of shipments against purchase orders raised by us. We received the goods, the vendor delivered. B is not right. B is actually a goods issue. Uh, C, receipt of goods returned by customers to us. Yes, it's coming in. Receipt of our shipments by customers of ours, no. Okay, that's... You know, we probably issued confirmation of production. Yes. Okay. So, how can confirmation of production result in goods receipt? Finished if we automated the process, right? If we automated it, then it would happen. Not otherwise. Yep. Uh, option B is like third party, right? So it's also one of the uh, third party issues. Third party issues. Yeah. So we shipped something. Right, and the customer received the goods. It's like third party, right? Our shipment received by a customer. So oh, you meant our shipment in that sense. Yeah. Well, that's not a good receipt. It is not a good receipt. It is a good receipt, but on the customer end. Yeah, it's not in our company. Yeah, right. It's not a goods receipt posting in our company. Customer will say, like, yes, I received the goods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are strictly talking about our company. our company and our inventory operations, not anybody else's. Okay? So that's why I deliberately try to confuse by putting everything as receipt. Not all of them are receipts. Okay? But you cannot count B as a receipt, right? Technically it's No, B <laughs> it's an issue for for anything. Okay? So the I think the correct answers are A, C and E. So the, the employee received it, but that doesn't mean there's a goods receipt posting taking place. Right? That's just an employee going to the place and taking the material and saying thank you and going. That's it. That's not a goods. It's a goods issue posting would have taken place in the company. Here we are talking about goods receipt posting. What would, what would happen, let's say, if you have a warehouse across the street and then a plant, and then yeah. you got raw materials in that plant, you would still say that's a good issue? No, that's work in progress. Yeah, see, they have taken yeah. it out. Yeah, that would be work in progress, that's all. No, no, wait. If you, if you order raw material at a production plant and you get it from the warehouse, would that just be a good issue at the plant? At the, at the warehouse. warehouse. At the warehouse. But at the plant, what would it be? The plant is not as, it's, it's out of inventory. It's not an inventory management anymore. Yeah. Yeah. In pr yeah, production, there's, it's exactly right. We are only talking inventory management. The moment we say goods issue posting, goods receipt posting, we are talking inventory management. If it's out of inventory, it's out of inventory, gone. <laughs> Which one? You still don't like B? <laughs> <laughs> you should change production orders. <laughs>
purchase order. Why an employee? That's correct. Why not a folk? Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but see, no matter what, this cannot be a goods receipt posting. I mean, whatever ambiguity there exists. Are we gonna, should we expect that the exam is going to trick us like this? Or yeah. is it going to be more straightforward? This, this, what, this is what I'm saying. I mean, the question is not designed. I mean, that doesn't mean I don't know what... Uh, uh, no, it, if you answered it wrong, I think you don't know what goods issue posting is. Yeah? <laughs> what is that? It just means like I, just, I just got tripped by this question the way it was worded. No, there's no room for interpretation. This is a goods receipt posting. Goods receipt posting is in your company. Is the stock going to go up as a result of this operation? There's no room for interpretation here. Is your stock going to go up as a result of doing B? Is it possible? There is no room for interpretation in that sense. <laughs> it's almost like saying, let's finalize this outside the room. <laughs> <laughs> Two, which of the following can result in goods issue postings in our company? Okay, I had AD. <laughs> Uh? But how can a confirmation of production confirm a single issue? Back flush. Same way. Back flush. Okay. Okay. So yeah, a issue of raw material by an employee against a production order. Yes, you will issue raw material to the employee, right? So that will reduce your stock. Uh, deposit into stock. No, that's a goods receipt. That cannot be a goods issue. B cannot be right. But in customization. In customization, you not you use B as your confirmation of production. If you tell them not to implement the confirmation of production as a separate action, instead when you say depositing it into inventory, it acts as my confirmation, and then that triggers the production. Oh, that can happen. Yeah, okay. That's why I okay. Yeah, that could happen. Professor, is it like the B option? B, the second B and second B, it, it sounds similar to me. It's almost the stocks the, after the production, yeah. the stocks would go into the production, right? It would be a finished product. Right. But we are talking goods issue posting. So, isn't B the correct option to because depositing of finished production stock from production? Right. So, you are issuing your finished good into your. That's not called issue. That's called deposit. Yeah, but then like you are issuing an order to just come and take this product from here, so... No. No, no, no. See, goods issue. We have to be very specific. These are specific terms. Goods issue is... There is stock sitting in storage. It's being issued out of storage. Okay, goods issue is stock going out of storage. That's what a goods issue is. Goods receipt is stocks coming into storage. So, can good issue be like not from storage but goes into a storage? Then? No, no, no. No, this it has to be issued from storage only. That's what it is. Okay, then I was See, you can't take money out of the bank and say I'm depositing money. It cannot be. <laughs> That's what it is. Right? I was thinking like you can do goods issue and goods receipt out of storage area. No, no, no. Okay, the goods issue, posting, goods receipt, posting have specific meaning. Okay, don't... Uh, but the scenario that he said is feasible, but I won't go into that. His scenario is that in customizing, it's possible for you to customize your system in such a way that you don't confirm production, but when stock is, you know, when finished goods put into stock, that acts as a confirmation. If that acts as a confirmation, then that can do back flush and all that. Okay, so let's not go there. So I just had A and D for that. A and D. A D. D. Uh, uh, I have a question here. Yeah. Uh, for E. Yeah. If the, uh, the the other plant is also in the same company code. No, but this event receiving is not going to trigger that. They pri already the issue has taken place. Right, but if we receive something, then in the other plant we will have the issue. Right? No. But that must have already happened. This. 
receiving cannot result in okay. goods issue posting. Okay. okay, that's why I worded it like that. Right, prior to that the issue must have happened. But this cannot result in that. No, but he's saying that the stock transport order might have been from one plant to another plant of our company itself. But this doesn't result in that goods issue. That goods issue occurred prior. Okay. Back flush. And then the finished goods goes into the stores where No, no, you confirmed production. Right? At the time of confirmation of production, you said I made 10 cars. Right. The system says, oh, okay, you must have consumed 40 tires. Let me post a goods issue for those 40 tires. Oh, okay. Back flush. Okay. So question number three. Which of the following could represent a transfer posting? BD. We take some materials from consignment to our possession. So it's consignment to warehouse. And uh, this is uh, stock in quality inspection to stock unrestricted use stock. Okay, so materials are not moving. Yes. Okay, so BD. Uh, four, which of the following are true about one and two step transfers? BD again. One step transfer creates one material document with two items. One for the withdrawal, one for the deposit. And two step creates uh, two material documents each with one item each with one item right so one is withdrawal here that's one material document deposit there is another material document okay five what is the advantage of two step process over the one step process proper tracking like you will know the status of your material every single tracking of stock in transfer okay specifically stock uh, tracking of in transit stock right if you do one step you will know you won't know if the material is in transit or not, right? But here it's specifically put in transit. That is the advantage of two-step. Answer is uh, the ability to track stock in transit. In six, uh, in two-step, where in transit? Yeah, the stock is shown as being in transit in six. Five is the ability to track stock in transit. Six is it is shown as being in transit. Seven, what if or, what is that? Origin. Oh, seven. You are giving the answer to that. Yeah. Oh, okay. If valuation involved in two-step process, stock is valued based on origin. Seven origin. Uh, it's based on this value at origin. Eight. Under what conditions is an accounting documented created for a stock transfer? Change in valuation. Change in valuation. Any, any situation in which there is change in valuation. Even across plant there might be change in valuation. Right? Depending on if the company is valuing stock differently in different plant. So the main thing is change in valuation. If it occurs then there is a, a accounting six, document. Uh, question 6. Going back. Uh, can there be an answer of as a, like a receiving plant? Uh, it would show as a it would show in transit for a receiving plant. Yeah. Uh, in, the in two stock, where is the shock stone in the stock overview? Between the, it is shown as in transit stock in the receiving plant. That is the point. Yeah, not just in transit in general, but it is shown as in transit stock in the receiving plant. That's the point. Yeah. No, stock can be shown in only one plant. It's gone from the first one. It's in the second one, but in the second one it says 50 units are in hand and another 20 are in transit. That's how it shows that. Uh, okay, so 7 was origin. Under what conditions? 8 was if there is any valuation change. Uh, 9, what is the relationship of the physical inventory process to the two-step stock transfer process? No, physical inventory process. Physical inventory process cannot be carried out if there is any in transit stock. Okay? So, for that stock management unit, you cannot do 
physical inventory process okay so so you cannot do physical inventory process if there is any in transit stock okay yeah i could have said implicate whatever some some word yeah. Uh, under what conditions can an accounting document be created for goods movements in two storage locations within a single plant? When both plant lies in stock transfer order. Right. Wait, which, where are, are eleven. 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 Oh, yeah. I skipped ten. Yeah. Uh, account. Oh, sorry. Oh, ten. I'm sorry. I am in ten. I highlighted eleven and then. Oh, within a single company code. Okay. When both the plants lies in different Right, exactly. When the two plants value the same material differently. Okay, then. What about the stock transfer order? Yeah? If you use a stock transport order and you have a signed shipping cost. What if you have. No, but would the valuation of the material change? But then now the material is not carrying costs. The shipping cost is associated with the negative. Then what can you do for the no, you, you can't do that, right? You value the material. You can't say these 10 pieces have additional value because they were shipped from one place to another. No, that's part of the cost of the order. It won't get added to the material, will it? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Or is it different valuation area? See, it depends on how they word it in the multiple choice, right? So different. The point is, if there is any value change. So then, if you put, if, uh, if there is a cost of moving the goods, the same difference. No, 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 no. It's different. It's oh, fundamentally right. different because you're saying, in this plant, the material is valued as ten dollars per piece. But what transportation? For whatever reason, they may be valued differently, right? You can't assume it's for transportation. Yeah. It's it's valued differently for any reason, right? So it's similar to that. Yeah, that's one example, I guess. Yeah. yeah. See, the other point he made, I'm not sure about the answer, right? He's saying that you move the material, and you added on the transportation cost to the cost of material, right? And he's saying, therefore, the material is now carrying the transportation cost. I don't know if that is possible. We'll, I'll ask him when he's, when he's free and I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay. Uh, okay. Under what conditions can accounting document be created for goods movement between two, two storage locations of a single plant? Change in valuation because of what? Material to material transfer. Change in valuation due to stock price. See, if, if material to material transfer, you're saying that you it's now a different material and therefore it's valued differently. Yes. Does that mean that the material was crossed? Okay. What I had in mind, let me say, is if there is split valuation. Yeah. Split valuation is what I had in mind, but I don't know if there could be other things. Hey, you have. Some? <laughs> Say if you have a stock transfer order, and if you have a stock transfer order, if you have any uh, expense related to the transfer order, then you have the common yeah. And, okay. Uh, uh, basically, if you have any transfer uh, within one plan, I don't think the value will be changed. Yeah. Because yeah, because with the valuation level, only two choices. One is company code level, the other one is plant level. In other words, if you move anything within one plan, the value will not change. No, but the, the book explicitly mentions that if you're using split valuation, then it can happen. Oh, yeah, if you have split. split valuation, that's that's the condition. Yeah. The same material is valued differently under different conditions. But let me ask you, um, the, you know, material to material, what if you have something, for example, that needs to 
it, you bottle yeah. beer and it's in bottles but it's got to stay in that for six weeks to ferment before it becomes ready to sell. So you, you have not changed the beer, it, it's in the bottle and all that. And you're not doing anything except when it matures. You just change the code to say now it's selling. That's the last thing. Yeah, I guess it'll, if you treat that as a different material then. Yeah, there are all these subtle conditions, yeah. Yep. I, mean, I, I really I understand that, but, but then again, the question is said within a single plant, right? So yeah. now the question begs, who's going to value the, the same material differently within the same plant? There's this concept called split valuation. No, I mean, I can tell what split valuation is, but now I'm talking about within the single plant. Yeah. So who's going to value the same material differently within the same plant? You're saying is this a practical scenario? Is right. that that's what I'm saying. I understand like you said, okay, split valuation. Okay, I get it. Right. But now I'm now I'm questioning the question because it's within the same thing. But this it occurs. Right? There are practical situations where this occurs. That's why the that's why the concept exists. See, so I don't know about us own our movement whether it can cause split valuation or not. Okay, cool. it could be possible. For example, uh, can this be an example like uh, you are in the clothing section, right? So you come up with new designs. So that's a material which is like have a nice value, like coming value. And so you have the material which was like old fashioned, but the same material number, so its value is gonna go down, right? Maybe because of sale or something. So can so there's valuation difference, right? Could it because be of the new design. Yeah, or it could be just uh, age wise. Yeah. You know, some time passed and so, you know, same material, but if it's older than 15 days, the parts are value down, something like that. Yeah, it could be that. Value increases. Yeah. So it could be, you know, one example could be just age. Okay, 12. Is it true or false? True. true. It does involve uh, stock transfer and transfer posting. Okay, 13. Which of the following are allowed in two step? C. C. Unrestricted to unrestricted. In two step, that's all you can do. Unrestricted to unrestricted. 14. Suppose stock is transferred from one company to another. Which two GL accounts will be affected? No, it's going from company code to company code now. Stock and clearing account. Company code clearing account. See, this is the accounting that they use to settle accounts between company codes. Right? There's a comp What is that? Right. Right, right. So that. No, it's a stock account and a company code clearing account. Uh -oh. Yeah, stock will be credited, company, the other cl clearing account will be debited. 